good Wednesday morning to you. KQ2 meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here with a quick check of your forecast. We are dealing with cloudy skies right now, but we've had had some light showers throughout the overnight hours, and unfortunately, we're going to get another round of rain as we go into our Wednesday. Right now, temperatures are sitting at 52 degrees. Winds are coming in from the east southeast at eight miles per hour. Now, as we go throughout the day for your Wednesday, we're still going to have wet roads because of the rain we got yesterday and the additional rain we're going to get today. So again, you will need to slow down and take your time this morning as you head out to work and school and as you're heading home. And also the rain is going to cause a little bit of some mist, so visibility could be low at times. But my main concern today will be the high winds as they're going to be gusting from the southeast anywhere from 40 upwards to 50 miles per hour. And also if you live near a river, creek or stream, be aware that the water levels have gone up a bit, so they could go above flood stage heading into the next several days, especially near the Missouri River, so keep that in mind. Right now, wind advisories are in effect from now through 10 p.m. Thursday for all of the KQ2 viewing area because of the high winds that we're going to be experiencing. Now, Atchison County in northwest Missouri, you're under a flood watch from now through 7 p.m. on Thursday because we're going to be still getting anywhere from three quarters to almost an inch of rain before all is said and done. That could cause some flooding issues in Atchison County, so keep that in mind. Look at these winds. Right now, they're sustained 10 to 15 miles per hour. They're already gusting up to 30, 35 miles per hour at times, and they're expecting, again, to pick up anywhere between 40 to 50 miles per hour as we go into our Wednesday. So that's why the wind advisories are in effect. But the strong south wind is already allowing the temperatures to be on the mild side this morning. Right now, we are sitting at 51 in Cameron, into Maysville and Mount City, 53 into Hiawatha, into Atchison, upper 40s and places like Rockport, Maryville and Bethany and Trenton where you're sitting right now at 48 to 49 degrees. So parents, as you are getting the kids ready for the bus stop and for school this morning, make sure they have once again the umbrella, the rain boots, the rain gear as they're heading out the door to work in school because again, we're going to be dealing with rain chances throughout the day, most likely heading into the morning hours. We're going to be going to 80% chances for your Wednesday, 100% chances heading into your 10 a.m. hour with 80% chances to the lunchtime hour. And they'll slowly decrease a bit heading into the afternoon and into the evening hours. And we still have scattered chances of rain in the forecast for Thursday as our system exits. Again, we've been dealing with some light rain showers, but mostly cloudy skies throughout the last several hours on our KQ2 high-resolution max satellite radar. But look at all of this rain out to our west. This is all ahead of our storm system that's right now Bring some blizzard-like conditions to parts of Colorado, and this is moving right in our direction. And it, this is a very strong area of low pressure, so that is why as it gets closer, we're going to see those winds pick up along with the rain. So let's go ahead and take a close look at all of this in your all-important KQ2 hour-by-hour forecast. As we go throughout the late morning hours, by 10 a.m., we're going to see a line of some moderate to heavy rain showers. We could even hear some rumbles of thunder. Temperatures will continue to climb into the upper 50s to lower 60s throughout the day. Again, those south winds are going to be picking up, gusting up to 45 miles per hour. And then we'll see a break from the rain heading into the 9 o'clock hour with cloudy skies. I'm expecting a quiet night for us with cloudy skies, maybe some scattered rain showers through early tomorrow morning and then heading into your late Thursday morning we could see a little bit of a rain snow mix develop as this system finally moves east and north away from us so keep it tuned to KQ2 we'll be keeping you updated on the situation 64 for your high today with widespread rain and then your all important KQ2 five to seven day forecast once we get through all of this tomorrow, Dane, it's looking to be pretty nice heading into our Friday and into the weekend with back up to near average temperatures in the lower 